First Peter two verse seventeen. The word is respect everyone. Yeah. Some people respect people who are older than them, but will never respect people that are younger. Mm. So it's not it's not constrained. It's not restricted to age. So whether a person is young or old, respect. Respect the people who are the king keepers, but not the king. True. What do I mean? Look at the story of Esther. Before Esther met a king, Ahasuerus, she honored the custodian, the keeper of the king. Because you don't know who will recommend you. Honor, honor is a tool that recommends. That's true. That's what my husband was trying to say. You don't know who will recommend you. The gatekeeper, the man at the gates that you're always insulting can, can send your CV to the king. That's true. Can send your proposal to the king. You don't know. So... Esther came, she found favor in the sight of the custodian, her guy, but she had not met King Ahasuerus. Mm. I can imagine out of all the virgins, you know, the air guy went to meet King Ahasuerus, there was some, there's someone that stands out out of all of them. It wasn't beauty, it was beyond beauty. You can be beautiful, but when you are dishonorable, you live a stagnant life. Kai. You can be beautiful, but when you lack honor, you will live a stagnant life, a stunted growth. So it wasn't beauty. They were the, the qualities for bringing wives for King Asher that they should be beautiful, mm. beautiful virgins. Mm. So it wasn't the virginity that also made that get to King Asher. <laughs> because you can be a virgin, but if you lack honor, you stay there. True. So she, she had the beauty, she had the virginity, the purity, she also had honor. Mm. Because virginity without character will lead you nowhere. Mm. Beauty without character will lead you nowhere. So she had all of it put together and she found favor. So I could imagine Esther running to the king. You know, I mean, the, the custodian running to King Ahasuerus and say, See, there's someone that stands out. Oh no, always makes one exceptional. True. Why people are all in the, I mean, there's a, there's a full crowd, multitude. But what makes you stand out is not beauty alone, it's honor. Honor mm. makes one stand out. If you read the story in the book of Genesis 24, it talks about um, 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 Abraham sending his servant, his eldest servant, to go and look for a wife for his son Isaac. So the eldest servant was on a mission, went out of the Canaan land and went to go and look for his, a, a wife for his son Isaac. And when he got to the entrance of the city, he found Rebecca. Rebecca did not know the other servant. Mm. Rebecca did not know the assignment. The other mm. servant was coming. She, the other servant met Rebecca and said, please, can you help me with water? Mm. The Rebecca came, maybe her, her mother sent her on an errand. She came to draw water from the well. It was in the evening, a cool evening. And you know how stressful. Have you ever drawn water from well before? <laughs> you drawing water. I remember in our early days, early years in marriage, my husband said we should go and see his mom. When I remember that in my, in my mother-in-law's house, there has been no light. She has one reservoir where, where I just, I, God have mercy, I formed headache for my husband. I said, God, I'm feeling headache. Headache, headache. He said, ah, is this that serious? I said, very serious. It's in. I dramatize this because I don't want to draw water from where. I cannot shout. I don't have power. I was so thin before, eh? I said, before breeze will blow, I can fall inside this well. Let me not just bother. So you can imagine, just imagine that kind of thing. Rebecca drank water from where? Probably the mother was cooking different. She was in on the queue drank water. And then this man, this stranger from nowhere just appeared. With camels. He, he didn't even ask for water for only himself. He asked for camels. That one was so annoying. Mm. For his take, how many camels? Mm. I can't even remember the numbers. And you know camels, they drink water annoyingly. They drink water a lot. So he asked for what she, he asked for water for, for, for himself and the camels. And she did not complain. She gave it all. Mm. Without knowing. Because you see, there are strangers that come. You, some of you will entertain angels on through her way. on our way. That's what happened to her. You know, she had no idea what the assignment of this servant was. She only honored. And look at what happened. The rest, you know the story. She became the wife of Isaac. It was just, that was the only endorsement. That was needed from the servants to know that this one is the one for. So, so, so there are some of you like that. You have missed golden opportunities mm. because why? You, you, you know, it's only when I know the person I should respect the person. When you can respect the people you don't know, you are truly honorable. True. When you only know, ah, it's pastor. But if pastor's uh, PA send me, I cannot go. Mm. That's what some of some people, some people do. If pastors clean and send me, I cannot go. If the person that is in secretary send me, I cannot go. But let it be pastor. Some of you will never do anything until it's pastor that sends you. There is a difference between service and nice service. They may look alike, but they are not the same. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's a difference. So, the Abraham did not need to. So, so, so there are some. There, were, there, were, there, there have been some women that would have said no to the servant. But if they had seen Abraham, Father Abraham and his sons, they would have said yes. They would have said yes. But did not know that the servant had the backing of Abraham. Mm. Somebody can have the backing of the king, and you miss that because it's not the king that sent you. True. 